tonight on 60 Mics. For the last 99 years, women have been serving in the United States Marine Corps in jobs ranging from administration to pilots to combat engineers on the front line. These women have been an integral part of the fighting force, and it all starts here at Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island. This is where female Marines are made. This is where they're tested and where 20% of these women will drop out due to mental and physical exhaustion. It's a rigorous and life-changing 13 weeks that is run completely by the drill instructors. Female drill instructors are the most mentally and physically tough women in the Marine Corps. Their training to become drill instructors is more demanding than any other school for women. They're trained to embody every aspect of being a Marine, from drilling to killing, and they do it better than anyone. But recently, some critics believe that the standards for women have been dropping. Attrition rates are lower, and physical requirements are less demanding. The command at Paris Island has come under fire for allowing too many less than worthy recruits to slip through the cracks. This has led to investigations, a clearing of school leadership, and a new look at the way recruits are trained. As part of the new changes intended to increase the intensity of female boot camp, the new command has brought on board a physically intimidating drill instructor who has almost single-handedly changed the culture of female boot camp here at Paris Island. Her intensity, her physical strength, and her demeanor have led to multiple awards for drill instructor excellence. Her attrition rate, an astonishing 46%, has some worry that she might be too harsh for Paris Island. But that's not the only thing critics are worried about. Staff Sergeant Brunswick, the most decorated female drill instructor in the history of the Marine Corps, is also the Corps' first transgender drill instructor. Staff Sergeant Brunswick joined the Marine Corps as an infantryman in 2008 and deployed to both Iraq and Afghanistan. Her third deployment, was to Southeast Asia. By the time Brunswick was home from her third deployment, the Department of Defense was considering allowing transgenders to serve openly. It was then that Staff Sergeant Brunswick considered becoming the woman that she always knew she was. I had the chance to sit down with Staff Sergeant Brunswick at her home just outside of Paris Island. So you've been a machine gunner in an all-male infantry battalion You've deployed four times, you've gone to combat, and been awarded for valor, and now here you are, the first transgender drill instructor in the history of the Marine Corps. So yeah. what's been the hardest part? Um, keeping my true gender hidden for all these years uh, was definitely the hardest part. Um, you know, it's hard when you know you're a woman deep down, and you're, you're constantly trying to be something that you're not. What kept you going? Uh, well, I joined the Marine Corps to serve my country. I wanted to be on the front lines, um, and I wanted to kill people. So, it was easy. When did you decide you were going to make the change? As soon as transgenders were allowed to serve openly, uh, I decided I was going to go for it. I was sick of lying to myself sick of lying to everyone else. Plus the wars were over. My, my friends had all moved to new units and change was coming, whether I liked it or not. So I figured if I was going to make a change, I would just go all the way. Fascinating. I mean, you must have had some truly inspiring people in your life to have made such a brave decision. Yeah. Who were your greatest inspirations growing up? Um, well, I've always admired strong women. So, um, Oprah Winfrey, Martha Stewart, Margaret Thatcher, Ofa Mae Johnson, uh, China. Excuse me? From WWE. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so how did you become a drill instructor? I've always wanted to be a hat. I've always thought that it was just the coolest job outside of the infantry, of course, um, because you get to make Marines. But they didn't want you to be a drill instructor, did they? No, 
No, they did not. So how did you do it? I, I was tenacious. Um, I kept my eye on the prize, and I never gave up. And, you know, when I, when I thought that the Marine Corps was going to make me lay down and take it, uh, I found my strength, and I pushed right back. And I pushed, and I pushed, and uh, eventually the course submitted. That's an incredible tale of strength and perseverance. I'm sure there are many people who will be so inspired by you. I, I hope so. Thank you. So, um, so what did you do while the Marine Corps figured out where to place you? Well, the first thing I did was um, get my hormones. And then um, I got my chest done. Uh, and then the Marine Corps actually stuck me in the armory as a custodian when I got off convalescent leave. What was that like? Not good. Uh, mm. I, I felt like the Marine Corps had abandoned me and that they were just gonna let me rot away in the armory for the rest of my career, like they do to all the shitbags. But I got lucky. I, I met an amazing man, and uh, he, he might be the love of my life. He's handsome and smart and kind and he makes me feel good about myself. Life can be really hard for a girl in my position and it's nice to have someone who understands me and listens to me and accepts me for who I am. Well, after a few months of leave and then work in the armory, I was, uh, I was finally approved to go to Paris Island. Oh, what was that like? It was a little weird at first because I was still going through my transition to a woman's body, but I'm a grunt and I've been through worse. So it was just a minor speed bump. Don't get me wrong, drill instructor school was challenging, but, um, but like I said, uh, I'm a grunt, so I'm no stranger to challenges. Did you ever feel like you had an unfair advantage over your peers? Well, I wouldn't say unfair because I like to think I work harder than everyone else, but I think that my experience in the infantry made me better able to, to mentor my peers and to push them and challenge them to be their best. So what rank did you graduate in your class? I was first in my class. How did people treat you? How did your peers treat you? Um, kind of a funny story. So a few of my Marines called me and they said, hey Brunswick, are you really a fag? But in like a loving way. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, and you grabbed my dick like a hundred times. So I guess you're a fag too. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good laugh. Everyone in the infantry is gay, so they were cool about it. Wow. Yeah. That's surprising. Yeah. <laughs> my interview with Staff Sergeant Brunswick was nothing short of inspirational. My next interview was, well, different. I met up with two of the Marines Staff Sergeant Brunswick went to combat with. What was it like serving with Staff Sergeant Brunswick? Uh, honestly, he was fucking good to go. A dude can hump some weight. Yeah, he was definitely impressive physically. Did you ever think Staff Sergeant Brunswick was different? You mean that I know he was a fag? Yeah. I watched him blow Johnson like a dozen times in Iraq, so I knew. Uh, I have some reservations. So how do you feel about the situation now? Honestly, I feel fucking great. The Corps is letting chicks and trannies in the grunts, and I'm getting the fuck out in a month. Honestly, I couldn't feel any better. Excuse me. Are you aware tranny is a terribly offensive word? Like more offensive than fag? Yes. They are equally offensive and bigoted words. Okay, fag I understand. My brother's gay and he gets kind of pissed at me when I call his boyfriend's faggots. <laughs> but, uh, but tranny? Really? Everyone says that shit. I fucking love that word. All right. It's my bad. And you? Honestly, ma'am, I'm not comfortable with it. 
but my job as an infantry squad leader is to train Marines for war. And honestly, that's all I'm focused on. Okay there, motivator. Look, I'm just fucking around here. Brunswick was, Brunswick was solid, okay? I knew he was a cocksucker the entire time. I didn't give a fuck. As a matter of fact, half the platoon fucked the same ladyboy in Thailand. So, pretty sure we're not the ones to pass judgment. Would you serve with her again? For sure. Brunswick was legit. In a combat environment, yes, I would. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Brunswick's peers gave us an interesting account of their experiences serving with her and in general spoke very highly of her, but not everyone had great things to say about Staff Sergeant Brunswick. So your daughter was one of the recruits that Staff Sergeant Brunswick trained last cycle. That's right, that's my baby. So what are your thoughts on Staff Sergeant Brunswick? Hurry the fuck up! That was a goddamn fucking man with tits, that's what that is. Mm. That's my baby girl. Daryl, Staff Sergeant Brunswick is a woman and has always been a woman. Really? So are you telling me that thing with a big swinging juicy cock is a woman? Is that what you're saying? Well, she hasn't had her surgery yet, Daryl. So yes, but but that doesn't you don't no, you don't get no, to this. No, nobody stares at my baby girl in the shower except for me. Not some grown-ass man with big, luscious fucking tits. No, me! For all of the people who aren't fond of Staff Sergeant Brunswick, there are just as many people who think she's a hero. I sat down with the commanding officer of female recruit training at MCRD Paris Island for another perspective. You're the first commander to have a transgender drill instructor. I am. So what's it been like? Deborah, I'm focused on the mission. And Staff Sergeant Brunswick accomplishes the mission better than any of the other drill instructors here. So it's been outstanding. How so? She's a hard ass. She works these little bitches into either submission or strength. That's exactly what the Marine Corps needs. The Corps is getting soft, Deborah. Even the men are little bitches these days. So when I get the chance to inflict some old school pain on these disgusting little twats, I embrace the opportunity to make my core stronger. Interesting. What is it about Staff Sergeant Brunswick that makes her a better drill instructor? Well, Deborah, as an officer, I probably shouldn't say this. However, there's really no way around the cold hard truth here. Staff Sergeant Brunswick crushes these bitches into submission because she's got a big fucking dick swinging between her legs. That's why she's a better drill instructor. Wow, I'm a bit surprised. <laughs> you shouldn't be, Deborah. The depot leadership has been pulling their hair out for years trying to unfuck the female recruit training program, but the answer's been in front of our faces all along. So the answer is? These bitches need more dick. It's just that simple. Well, I've definitely heard that before. Yeah, we <laughs> all have.